uh, what's going on guys, it's uh, Recon and, or Gravy uh, any name you wanna call me with anyway, just a quick tutorial here since I didn't do a t t tutorial since like a month or something and I have exams and st studying and shits cause I have an exam tomorrow and I've been busy lately, sorry but I'm doing a new edit to check it out guys so I'm gonna be doing it soon with my friend so yeah uh, today's tutorial is gonna be the um, fractured floor or flying rocks whatever you call it I did it in the I guess unique uh, episode and the frag out it's uh, like this um, like uh, fra uh, like I don't know how to say it. it's like rocks motion tracked and rotating and it has some reflection as you see here so we'll start off by turning the CC off and we're gonna delete element and this sluggy weight sorry yeah so you need to have a tracked cinematic I already did my track and stuff so what you need to do now is you're gonna go to layer, you're gonna create a new solid and you're gonna put on it element effect, the element everybody loves this shit and now what you're gonna do what you're gonna do you're gonna go to scene setup and you're gonna go to the starter pack and you're gonna go to floor factor and you're gonna go to presets, select the color you can change it later I'm just gonna select any color from here, let's select this paint one right, let's select the... this one's good let's just select it for now yeah. now when you click OK and you go and you go through the video you see that it's already tracked so we need to position this correctly so we're gonna go to group one since it's the first like effect we added in the scene setup a particle lip replicator and we're gonna position it co correctly on the fro flow and yep yeah, so we're just gonna go like this and go to position and just do it correctly now we're gonna go to rotation and the x axis, I get yeah. X axis, you're just gonna rotate it till it's like flourish. Flourish, <laughs> yeah. It's almost on the ground. So almost. Oh. Oh. Anyways, so we just did the first step. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to particle look multi object and we're gonna enable this now we're gonna play with the displacement x y z so we're gonna set the displacement x to like this y to like this let's set it like this maybe and wait a second and displacement z like this now you can play with the scatter also since it also has the same effect I'm gonna put this to 50 maybe 100 and yep yeah, I'm just gonna st scatter this a little bit and yep we got some track going bitch we're gonna go to rotation and where are we now just gonna rotate this like this so we get a lot of it like this we're gonna position it again La, do like this yeah so we got these I'm gonna scoop it over here a little bit now we need to rotate it again so yeah and scatter it a bit Wait. where are we? shit oh. and now hmm, adjust the rotation and yeah 
where's the displacement displace it again now you got you got yourself a particle mister thanks for watching guys <laughs> no just kidding so yeah just adjust it till you want it the correct way or the way you want it you know uh, it, it takes time but yeah it's just a tutorial to tell you the the right effects to, to use and the right scatter and the right like the right style for it so yeah we're almost done here now you can change the size and stuff first the size yeah um, you can change this to 20 if you want to I'm gonna change it to 11 now and we need to animate it so we're gonna go to hmm, where is it nope not this one rotation of x y no not rotation shit which one was it shit this one nope come on I just saw it rotation x y and z cool we're gonna keyframe all of these three and we're gonna go to the end we're gonna just change the values maybe set this to 218 180 negative 100 just a quick like uh, different values you know so we have the we have rotation and it's like steady fucking track and we can change the position at any time by doing this and adjusting it and you can like rotate it uh, animate it like this and this is, it's like a blender fucking OCE or you're creating a text or something you can do this with text also so anyways last thing uh, so this from Baker's touch so go save him out I'm not taking credit for this we're gonna duplicate our oh shit. I have lag now. Please wait. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna duplicate our cinematic, and we're just gonna remove this, and we're gonna freeze it. So we have a frozen picture. Let's place it down. Now we're gonna go to the element, uh, custom layers, custom maps, and we're gonna set it to frozen. Go to scene setup environment, set it to this one, the frozen layer. So we got some reflection going on, you know. And you can change the settings anytime, you know. You can change this like 250 ish, maybe 110, 20. Sorry, mm, the intensity, let's change it to 75. So if you look carefully we got some cool reflection shiny sheets yeah that's bullshit now nah, it's good for a tutorial anyway guys thanks it's, uh, it has been another tutorial just tell me what you wanna see next for me guys and yeah peace